So I've learned quite a bit today, actually. Um, I found out the difference between uh, having get key and get key down. Um, and also, I have now also learned about add relative force uh, as opposed to add force, which is what my um, thrust forward uh, method has, uh, which is there. Um, but I've been wanting to get my sh this whole sh sh strafing thing working proper properly, and I've never really been able to get it sorted. And I, the last video I uh, was mucking about and tried a few things, it just wasn't working. Um, works. I've actually got it working. Um, thing was, is what I had was, and we'll see if, yeah, here it is. So I had my rigid body was linked to the velocity, which it was, which was now <laughs> makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it was actually re replacing the uh, velocity of which uh, the character, uh, the character, the game object was moving at. So it was kind of like resetting it almost. Um, now what I have got is again I'm still utilizing having a strafing a set of separate balls for strafing right and strafing left uh, as default. They are set as true. And um, but when uh, yeah where is it? Oh no sorry, what does it mean? Uh, as as default it's set to false. When the when the actual game starts. That's when they, it kicks in, and then it's set to true. Um, and now, so, and then I can have like these if statements. So, uh, so basically, what's happening is it will change the vector three to right uh, on that plane or that axis uh, times by the strafe speed, which is I've set it as a float because then I can adjust it in the inspector, and it just works. It's brilliant. So um, if I go over to, and I, I quite like the fact that I've got this kind of holodeck grid background here, because that way you can kind of gauge speed, and uh, that's the idea. Um, so uh, so rotation speed and strafe speed is set to one. Um, I have these as floats, so I can amend them in the uh, inspector here. Uh, it just means I don't have to do it all in code, and it's really handy. Uh, let's just give this a go and have a look. So yeah, that spins around. And I can move forward and strafe right, strafe left. I mean, uh, to be honest, it's, it's port or starboard really. Um, which is what I should really do. And this is what I've wanted since the beginning, actually. So I, I am at some point going to try this with a actual controller. But yeah, I, uh, I think the movement's actually starting to feel fun. Uh, I mean, I might need to adjust the speed. Yeah, so I mean, as, as you can tell here, like, I mean, obviously the curse has disappeared because I've disabled it in, in code, uh, so you can't see it, but it's still there. But you can see the uh, the green, um, right there, sorry, yeah, you can see the green uh, fuel bar. So fuel is depleting, and it's just, oh, it is a bit jerky. I, what I need to do is I need to get an image atlas, and I need to kind of just, there's, a, there's like so much stuff I need to do, but that's going to get to the point when I'm optimizing it. But yeah, and also I need to add animations to this. Um, so that will be, a, that's going to be a, a chore unto itself. Um, I mean, at one point, I'll, I'll be kind of cool if this whole thing was voxels. Uh, and so it's basically a 3D environment. I mean, that maybe that might happen at some point, but let me just finish this game first and then I'll see what happens. But yeah, Bad Earth is starting to shape up. Um, it's got already most of the components I need. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I like this. Like it, it feels like you're traveling in space. You know? So like, oh, I've got no bloody fuel. Yeah, I've got no fuel, so I'm just like moving around. I forget about that. 
Um, but yeah, the UI still needs to still need to t uh, tweak the UI and just make it a little bit better, I guess. But it's all coming together, and um, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with this so far.